what y'all think about that knockout, though. Let's get straight to it. Because I ain't, let's get straight to it. What y'all think about that knockout, though? See, the first thing my coach done told me, man. The first thing my coach told me, man. They say, man, when people get decisions like that, knockouts like that, they tend to get conceited. And they tend to, you know, dwell on that on that performance to where they start, they other performances start dropping. Performances start dropping after that performance. I said, Coach, you right. Basically, all you telling me is to stay focused. I'm going to stay focused, Coach. You don't got to worry about that because that wasn't the gold medal match. That was just some epic shit right there. <laughs> That was not the gold medal match, but that shit was just too epic. I bet y'all was jumping up and down like I was. I ain't gonna sit here and act like I knew I was gonna knock dude out like that. I just kept saying today gonna be a great day. I was saying that all yesterday. I was saying today is gonna be a great day. I was upset about the decisions that I was getting, that we was getting. I was upset about the decisions that we was getting yesterday, the day before. I was upset about my brothers losing the fights that I feel like they could have won. You know, I was just upset by a lot of stuff. And I was just kept telling myself, I'm the only one fighting today from America. Today gonna be a great day. I'm on the bus ride, going to the venue right before my fight. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. I put on Twitter, today gonna be one of my best performances. I ain't know I was gonna knock dude out though, you know. All credit to the French dude. I'm not up here bragging. He a great competitor. He, I showed him so much love afterwards because he always showed me love in training camp. He told me good luck before the fight. I never did that or seen that before. He told me good luck before the fight. Shout out to the French dude, man. He a, he a hell of a fighter. He came out on my ass though. I'm like, oh shit. I got a fight. We in the Olympics. <laughs> yo, he came out on my ass, yo. I'm like, hold up. Let me slow this shit down. Hold up. I was like, hold up, bro. Kind of found out they gave me. So he smacked on fan duel. <laughs> kind of found out they gave me a 3-2 decision going my way. In the first round. Now let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all how I got that punch off though. <laughs> hey, let me tell y'all how I got that punch off though. You went crazy, chill. Appreciate it. I got, I got a question for you guys. Can I borrow your little coat thing? I forgot my like credentials. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, Keon Davis the truth too, no cap. Hey, let me tell y'all how I got that punch off, though. Y'all want to know? If y'all if y'all ready to hear this story, man, press start. Hit a star for me, man. If y'all want to hear this story, everybody press the star button right now. I'm going to tell y'all how I got that punch off. I'm going to tell y'all why I threw it, when I threw it, and why I did it. I'm going to tell y'all. Press. I need, I need to see some stars, though. I need to see some stars. Send me some stars. I gotta tell y'all this story because I remember this shit clear as day, cuz. I threw the punch because I was mad. But I'm gonna tell y'all why I was mad, though. <laughs> I won't I won't mad because the 3 2 decision of the first round. You know, I won't mad because how fast he came out and he thought he was gonna beat me because he, he, he fighting hard. He can't just fight hard and beat me. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell y'all what happened, right? So boom, right? <laughs> right, this how it happened, cuz look. This has this how this whole punch started. So second round, we going in the second round, right? I know it's I know it's a close fight. I know I'm up a round, but I know it was a close round, right? And I know he's still in the fight, so he come out even stronger, right? But this is not what made me mad though. Right? Shit's crazy. Like, I realized I hit the switch. Got they going we boxing, right? Boom, we boxing, we boxing. I'm, I'm getting comfortable in the ring. You know, I'm getting real comfortable. 
I'm starting to lay my, my shots real good, real easy, setting them up real good, real easy, right? So I get to move my feet, right? Yeah, I know y'all remember the part I get to move my feet, get on my bike a little bit. I get to move my feet, get on my bike a little bit, right? So I slip, he, he come with a punch, I slip on the step around, and I get back right, we square off again. Tell me why as soon as we Tell me why as soon as we square off again, he get a quick one-two off on me. A quick, a quick ass one-two up off me. I couldn't even see the shit. Oh, the team, look who walked in. I'm telling my story right now. Good, we up what's like 400 right now, man. Say what's up to live, man. Got the team right here with me. Good, what's good, man? We up something decent right now. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm telling a hell of a story right now. I don't know what cookies those is, but those are like bad luck right there. Don't <laughs> be. Yeah, I see y'all just got it right, but yeah, y'all got it right. Hey, well, y'all go ahead, man, the fans on this joke. I don't know who on this joke. Y'all go ahead and tuck them jokes. Some close. <laughs> I don't know. They was already here. Nah, but look, let me tell y'all the story, though. Let me get to the story, right? So, yeah, I slip under. As soon as we squat back up, right? He catch me with a, a quick one, too. Pop, pop. I'm like, I know you did not just hit me on national television. I know you ain't hit me on national television. I know that's not what you just did, Frenchman. Right? I'm thinking this in my head, right? Right? <laughs> I'm like, this man just hit me with a two-piece on national television. And then he tried to walk back up on me. He tried to walk back up on me after he hit me with the one-two on national television. Do you know what you just did? Right? I remember it plain as day, right? I remember it plain as day. This, that's the shit that made me mad. That shit hit me right here, right here. Boom, boom. I say, oh, no, you didn't, Frenchman. No, you did not just do that, Frenchman. Right? <laughs> the punch coming up. Here we go. We get to the punch right there, right? He even the punch right, boom, boom, right in my chin. I say, all right, here we go, here we go, right? I come back in with a three-piece, boom, 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 right? Landed all them shits, right? I landed the whole three-piece, right? But I'm still mad. I'm like, nah, them shits ain't connect enough, right? So I knew it was time to bring out the bolo. I already, the whole fight. I knew the bolo was there. I was not bringing it out until it was time. <laughs> no bullshit. I'm telling y'all some real shit. This Frenchman did not see this bolo coming. I had the, bo had the bolo coming for him the whole time, but I was not releasing it until I knew it. Because look, you got to realize, it was a close fight. A close fight, one punch can determine a round. So I'm like, all right, I won that first round without throwing the bolo. It was close, but I ain't have to throw the bolo, right? <laughs> I was going to say the bolo for the last round, cuz. I couldn't hold it in, though. Cuz, hit me with that two-piece of that television. I said, you got I hit him with the, okay, okay, how I hit him with the bolo? Okay, boom. It was already a close fight, so I knew one punch could determine the whole fight. I didn't bring the bolo out the first round because I knew I won the first round. I ain't need the bolo. Second round, I was getting real comfortable and I was boxing real easy. You know what I'm saying? So I won't even think about the bolo. You following me? But when he hit me with that one, two, and I got my three piece off, and it still ain't feel like enough, I knew it was time to finish him. <laughs> Right? Right? So this is how I did it. Let me tell you how I did it, though. <laughs> if y'all want to know how I did it, press a star. I need hella stars on this page.
Press a star if y'all try to figure out how I actually landed that shit, though. Press a star, though. I need stars. I need stars. I need I need stars. I need stars. I need stars. Y'all know my story's always good. Don't don't play like that. Give me some stars on this jump. Give me some stars. The bolo. The bolo. The the big the big bolo question is coming. I need more stars than that. Come on. Give me some more stars. I need more stars. Meryl called me. I don't be hearing my phone ringing. My ring on. That's crazy. Ah, uh, y'all giving me stars. Y'all giving me stars. So look, right? So look, right? Boom. Right? <laughs> this hot. Catch it with the bolo, right? So boom. After I catch it with the three piece, right? After I catch it with the three piece, right? He stood right there in front of me. So I knew he was on some counter shit. I'm not dumb. See, I don't play them games I used to play with these fighters. You know what I'm saying? I don't play them type of games. I know. I think ahead of y'all. I think ahead of You know what I'm saying? I think ahead. I was thinking ahead today. Let's say that. I was thinking ahead today. So once he started standing still at that corner with the three-piece, I knew he was trying to counter me. And I know, I knew, every time I threw to the body, as soon as I come back up, he a jump on my ass trying to counter me with hella punches. I know this in the fight. I know this. Every time I try to go to the body, he'll try to come back with a lot of punches, right? Right? So this how I catch him. I act like I'm going to the body, right? <laughs> it's simple. One, two, three, math. Maddox, I act like I go to watch the video. I act like I go to the body. I know he about to release. So what I do? Release the bolo. Boom! Next thing I know, I'm screaming, jumping up and down. About to hit a backflip. Telefemo style. Nigga thought he was gonna counter me. I brung the bolo out just in time. Counter his ass. <laughs> no, 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 no disrespect. No disrespect. No disrespect. I'm doing too much. But he thought he was gonna counter me. I faked to the body. Right? Because he always wanted to counter me going to the body. And I was mad. Remember, I was mad because he hit me with the two piece on television. You don't hit me on television. You hit me probably my, 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 my shoulder, probably back of my head, probably scraping my ear. This nigga hit me with a two-piece on television. I was mad. Brung the bolo out. The bolo was some decent. The bolo, the bolo, the bolo was like something like Debo hitting red ass. Feel me? The bolo was like Debo hitting red. When red flew back, that was the bolo. <laughs> if y'all ever know what the bolo is, <laughs> when Debo hit red ass. <laughs> Nigga, that's the bolo. <laughs> we got Russia next. You know Russia, you know Russia's Russians are always warriors. They always come to fight But I just really feel like Now nah, this is me being real I just really feel like I just really feel like I'm on a I'm on a whole Another planet right now My mental My mental is just a whole On a whole Another planet right now I'm locked I'm super locked in 